What's up everyone and welcome to a new Minecraft video. I'm the Cax Monkey and today I'm doing a legend tutorial. This redstone contraption uh, lets you go into the lecture and shows a page. Uh, for example, here we have a bamboo farm and then we can turn on the bamboo farm and it will light up down here as well. And we can then later take an output into our own bamboo farm. We can then disable it and the lamp will turn off and we can change this with any uh, other here we have the scoot farm then we can go to the sugarcane farm and we can have multiple on at the same time it works perfectly let me show you the redstone back here right now we have an output here and an output here and this is the scoot farm and this is the sugarcane farm then when you want to connect this up to your farms you just continue this redstone line into your farm and when this is on you, the farm should be on and when it's off the farm is off but as you can see we only have half of them up here we only have seven the eight last ones are with the slabs down here and they can be taken out here as well but if we place redstone here, you can see that it connects. To get that so it not won't connect, you put two repeaters instead, and then you can can continue the line into your farm. This farm is 19 blocks long, 21 blocks wide, and 14 blocks tall. But if you don't want to have this control lamp system down here, you can remove all the wiring down here below and the contraption will only be eight blocks tall. And you can also skip all these small lines down here to save this little space as well. But I prefer to have the lamps here for showing that this farm is actually on. Otherwise you won't see if the show something is already activated or deactivated. But you may not want to show the lamps because you may Want to hook up this thing up to a hidden door where you should choose one of these 15 pages and click on the button and the door opens then you don't want to show a lot of lamps and then you can save all this space down here below as you can see we only have 15 lamps and that is due to the redstone length here at the end so when you are at page 15 the redstone goes all the way over to the end and this lamp turns on. Before we start building this, I just want to say that I have left a download link to the world and to a structure file down in the description below. And, and if you have any questions about this contraption, post them down below in the comments or join my discord where we can chat a lot easier. And also if you have any changes or better ways of doing this farm then, then please do so and please show me but don't forget to credit but let's build this farm i will build a full size one the same one as you can see here so first you want to place 15 lamps and then in the middle you want to place a lectern then you want to place a book into the lectern the problem here is now that you can see this lamp is blinking when we turn pages and that's because this lectern gives out a pulse of redstone each time you change page so to skip that flickering on the lamp you just remove that block on here and you can see that this lamp no longer turns on when changing the pages after that you build a wall and have a block opposite of the wall from the lecture here we want to have our comparator and this now gives us an output that we are on this page after you place the comparator you want to Build this 15 blocks out, put the redstone wire on top of all this, repeaters down here with one tick delay and up here with two tick delay. After that you should place blocks on top of these repeaters here and add redstone on top of those new blocks as well. Then we want to have a new line of 15 blocks over here. Then you want to place torches in this formation like this so half down here at the side and half on the top. And then you want to place a whole row of torches down here below as well. And you will see that one of these 
first which is up here will light up and this is the output and this is the page that we actually are on in the legend right now so we are on page 11 and this is the 11th tour so if you don't want to have the lamps now you are done you can then you can just take your outputs from here into a hidden door or something like that here you also have everything from the side so you see how it should be built this should be 15 long now we will add in the hopper system and i will show you how to build them over here we will start with the standing torches and they are quite simple you place a redstone going out from the torch like this into a block with a torch on top and on top of that torch you want to place a block at the front of this torch you want to place two hoppers in remove the first one and do so it facing into each other like this so we can put in an item and it will go back and forth between them after that you place two redstone dust on top and that section is done then we will do the other section for hanging torches and we start off with a redstone dust one block below like this that redstone dust should go into another block with a torch on top then we want to place two block then we want to place two blocks here and our two hoppers change this hopper again so they are facing into each other so we can to take this item going back and forth then we want to remove those two blocks uh, that we used to place the hoppers on and put on the redstone like so so this is our first section so far here we have it in a big style what we want to do now is to place a, an item in all of these hoppers only the ones close to the block not the one the furthest out same thing goes for down here so we want to place them like this not in this one only in that one now we want to take an output from these two hoppers so we use that we do that using a comparator so from the last hopper that doesn't have an item inside of it should have the comparator if you place the item wrong i can show like like now you can see that this is turned on this is not not how it should be so then go into the that hopper and remove the item make sure to place it in this one this is how the big contraption is now looking we have at I've added in the comparators here as well and you can see this is blinking due to that this item is still going back and forth but we don't want this blinking and this is where the button comes in that we give our input from where we actually want to turn something on or off so now we want to place these blocks right like this it should be in the same height as the redstone dust here and we should then place torches on top of all on the side of all these blocks like that and now you can see that this stopped to blink because now this item is only stuck in this hopper due to that we are locking the hoppers using the redstone dust that is lit up by this torch now so now we place in the button here and on the other side we place a block with the redstone dust on top then we want to have a line that is one block higher than this just so we don't interfere with any redstone down below here because we want to have still want to have our redstone outputs going out here from the comparators when we turn this thing on then we will need to do a system that goes above all of this just so we won't interfere with the redstone outputs so it should now look something like this and you want to continue the redstone going up and above all of this going then going down connecting it down to the torches here and you can start to see that we have a big problem here so to fix this we place in two repeaters like so and also to not interrupt this signal going up and above here we need to do repeaters actually two repeaters in a row here on all of these output lines so now we have the button placement working for the lower part however these hoppers up here are not connected yet and we then want to connect everything up into these hoppers as well and to do that we want to continue this redstone signal from this up and down thing into here remember we need a comparator so we don't lose the signal strength and then we want torches like this so they connect into the 
lines on top of the hoppers like that and the last one here just gets its own here at the side then we want to place a redstone line going on top of all this and some jack-o-lanterns on top of all of these hoppers at the side here so they don't connect up to this redstone here the, these jack-o-lanterns also lit up the place which removes a lot of the lighting updates and improves the performance of this and so you don't let get a lot of lag in your world or server also don't forget this little repeater here at the start otherwise the signal won't go all over this thing and the hoppers down here won't be unlocked we still have the 11th torch that is lit on, and you can now see that we have a true output here or uh, the farm is running output now we can go back to the lecture here you can still see that we are on page 11 and the bone farm if we now place click on the button here you will see that the bone farm is turned off we can still roll to something else the tree and wood farm page 15 so we should now have the 15th output and you can now see that this is activated down here we can do one last test let's start the sugarcane farm there should be an upper one so here you can see we have the output not right now we have two true outputs to our farms so here we have the basic system in action now we just need to connect up all these lamps so now how do we connect this into the lamps we actually want to have a new comparator at the other side of this we now want to take this into a block and that block will transfer the signal down to this redstone dust then to not lose the signal we want to have a repeater and this signal should then go through one block can be a redstone but you can see watch out for the torches here so we will need two repeaters here going through this block we will now continue the output on this side and this should then go all the way down to this here it's simply just to connect this redstone line up like this and into that lamp you can now see that this lamp turned off because we haven't actually disabled or enabled the first farm so now we can see this in action we have carrot farm the first farm if we press the lamp the lamp now turns on if we press the button again the lamp will turn off so it's just to continue this as with everything else it's just to copy this all over again the problem here though is that the lines will change a little bit over the time because they shouldn't go all the way so this line we want to take it into here instead of there but same procedure here we will need one redstone dust there another dust there and two repeat or three repeaters it will go over to this side and we can then take it down below like that and the third lamp are now working personally the most easiest the most easy way to build this is to make all these lines and then you remove each second block like this and then you can easily place in all the needed comparators redstone blocks redstone wires etc so there we have all the comparators going out we want to have them into a block and we now want to build all of this down here remove each second one and having the redstone dust it's just to copy everything all over again a quick note we only want repeaters going through on the first four ones however the fifth one is a little bit tricky because you will need the comparator here and then a block on top to get the signal down otherwise the wiring won't work the sixth one should then just drop down quite fast here going into this space here going all the way into their input and now into the two last ones so we start with this inner one we take that forward two blocks we want a redstone dust here and then a repeater that will go into another block and then we want to place a redstone dust below here we want to take this down one more and continue in into this line and connect everything up like so on the last one here we want to take it into a block 
below that block we want to have a redstone dust the same way as we have it here then we want to continue this line here in between going forward into this space here put on the redstone dust here but now you will see it will connect here so place one block on top of there and one block there and they won't connect up anymore and after that we want to continue those two lines all the way to here don't forget to have any comparators in the middle and now to the upper hoppers we have now, now done all the lower wiring i hope that wasn't too confusing now to the upper ones these will have redstone torches at the sides here and you can see the activated ones will turn off this torch then for those who are wondering where do we take our output then well the output will actually have to travel up one block like this so now you can see we will have the output just continuing from there after that we want to make an, a diagonal part like this so it's three blocks below this one we made earlier and all of them should be like this except the last one because this last one we can just take it into here and follow this line all the way to the end except the last two because those last two we need to hire up once and then we want to place a repeater here and the redstone dust you can see that the redstone dust are connecting so place a block on top of that redstone dust and then connect up the line and as you can see the redstone won't go all the way so don't forget to place in a repeater then we update this process on all of them and the rest of them should look like this and the last two blocks should be the same so you go forward until you have one block in between then you go diagonally upwards like so and finish up with the two last ones after you have done that it should look something like this the last one here is a little bit special we need to rise this up one block earlier and then start going diagonal so you can get those two last blocks in the end after this it's just to connect everything up with the redstone now i've connected up all the redstone wires but you can see on some places here we don't get the signal through everywhere so we place repeaters in this gap going through so four of them in a row but we still have these two lines up here left and this that we did earlier so don't forget to place repeaters on these ones either and up here you can see that we have the connecting dust so don't forget to place in these last blocks like so and now nothing should be connected up with other lines so now when we have built this we want to test it out so we are on page one can we turn on the first form yes we can if we go to the sixth one can we turn this one off yes we can make sure to go through all of them testing them out if everything works then you have done everything correctly otherwise you will need to go through and check that something isn't connected up wrong or doesn't have a repeater so it won't go all the way forward and that is all for today's tutorial i have a download link to the world down below in the description and i also have a structure file for you to download so you can copy this directly into your world into a creative world using a structure block and if you like this video, then please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you on later. So see you and goodbye.